Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the ESC protocols, how the flight controller sends the signal to the ESC live on an oscilloscope. And we're going to look at how different they are, how fast they are, and what is the advantage of each. So I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible for everyone. Uh, first let me just tell you just a brief info about how these signals work and, and just so you get an idea. So basically just a signal is a minute voltage that would go up for a certain amount of time and drop back down and that would mean something. Now what does that mean? Now let's just say this is an example. So the voltage would go up for two microseconds dropped out back down. Okay, that would tell the ESC to go half throttle. Okay, now let's just say we want to go full throttle now. Uh, this uh, the, the, vo the voltage would go up for let's just say four microseconds and drop back down but it will constantly be doing this and that means go full throttle and and that is all basically that's how most of electronics speak it's just that simple just time and voltage and just an update frequency which means how many times they update per second so um, that is basically it it's very simple and once you see it I hope you'll understand it because it's just nothing more really it's just a signal that goes up for a specific certain amount of time drops back down and that means something and now these um, th th now these devices know the protocols because it's programmed within them so there's a code already inside that tells them so they, they don't understand out of nothing uh, that's what BL Hell Yes does it, it actually uh, gives the rules of these uh, frequencies and these times and these voltages of how long it should be up for and what it would mean. That is all it really is. Just a minute voltage goes up for a certain amount of time, drops back down, and it means something. And the timing. Enough talking. Let's jump into the oscilloscope. We're gonna take out. We're gonna take a look at all the protocols and see the difference between all of them, from one shot to multi shot to D shot. So let's hop on the oscilloscope and take a quick look. All right guys, so now we're looking at the oscilloscope and the current signal we are looking at is one shot, one, two, five. But before I begin, I just wanna just clear up a couple things. We're not gonna be talking about update frequencies. We're not gonna be talking about the PID loop frequency and all that. We're just gonna be taking a look at just the signals and how they look like, that is all, and the timing between them. And it's just going to be very simple just for you guys to get an idea before we get into more advanced stuff later on. So before I begin, uh, right now we're on 50 microseconds per division. And what does that mean? It's, it's just very simple. It means each square is 50 microseconds. So from the beginning of the signal to this square, that's 50. And from here to here, that's another 50, which is 100. And from here to the end of the signal, which is halfway, that's 25. So that's 125 microseconds. So right now the signal takes 125 microseconds and which is why they call it one shot 125 the 125 stands for 125 microseconds so it takes 125 microseconds for the flight controller to tell the ESC to be on zero throttle and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the motors tab and we're going to start increasing the throttle and to see what changes so uh, I'm starting to increase it and this is live right now so this is full throttle right here that's full throttle and this is zero and that's full so as you can see the time has increased and this is full throttle so full throttle is 100 250 microseconds it doubled so it takes 250 microseconds a 250 microsecond pulse to tell the ESC to be on full throttle all right that's it. it's just that simple it's just that that's the voltage I was talking about and this is the time frame I was talking about now we're gonna jump to multi shot so now um, I'm not going to be covering one shot 42. I'm just going to cover one shot 125, multi shot, and D shot 600. Later on, I'll cover all the D shots, uh, and we could talk about those more in detail. So this is just going to be basic intro, really. All right. So now multi shot, and I'm going to save and reboot, and that's a huge difference. That is a huge difference. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to zoom in. All right. So that's enough right there. So I zoomed in and now it's on zero throttle and we have five seconds per division. That means every square is five microseconds. Okay, so idle on multi shot is five microseconds and idle on one shot was 125 microseconds. That's a huge difference. That's 120 microsecond difference. So 
let's take multi shot and we're going to increase full throttle and see how long how many microseconds it takes for it to say full throttle all right so that increased quite a bit but not as much so we have five microseconds another five that's 10 15 20 25 microseconds is full throttle on multi shot so 25 microseconds on full throttle uh, for multi shot and it was 250 microseconds full throttle on one shot 125 so and here's everything in between I'm just increasing and decreasing of the throttle so that's multi shot right here now we're gonna jump to D shot D shots a bit different because it's a digital protocol and digital is just binary it's just the patterns of ones and zeros uh, which means a specific something so uh, let's switch over we're switching to D shot 600 now and we're gonna save and reboot all right now you see it's takes a lot longer but not really but it really does no now it's taking here around 28 microseconds I've already counted this it's between 25 and like 29 28 microseconds so we're just gonna say 25 microseconds so it's taking 25 microseconds to tell the motors to be on zero so zero I'm gonna call it idle uh, if I mess up while I'm speaking so you guys know what I'm talking about so let's zoom in real quick so I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna bring the signal inside the view here so this is the full signal of D shot now this is saying zero throttle now what I'm going to do is I'm in the motors tab on beta flight and it's on a thousand a thousand which means zero and I'm gonna increase it to 1001 so there we go so as you can see zeros and we have a couple ones and then zeros so it's just a pattern of ones and zeros which means something so this would mean 1001 in beta flight and this is how it looks like in D shot this is 1002 1003, 1004, 1005, and I'm just gonna hold the arrow key and just watch it just change patterns. As you can see, the patterns change. Now, the time frame stays within 29 microseconds, so this has its benefits and it's digital and it's very good. We'll talk it later on and we'll just get more advanced of what is the benefits of this other than it being digital, really. So, let's take a look at full throttle and zero throttle so this is full and this is zero throttle full zero see it stays the same just the pattern changes which is zeros and ones and I believe these are all zeros possibly right now I'm not sure I haven't really looked into it but I'm pretty sure um, I could be wrong if I'm wrong please correct me now this is D shot uh, just coming straight from the flight controller uh, next video I will be showing D shot uh, coming from the flight controller to an ESC with a filter capacitor for the signal how that would look like and then I will also remove it and we're gonna see how that would look like also and um, we're also going to be testing noise later on in in later on videos but I just wanted to give you a quick introduction into how the oscilloscope works and what do these mean and just just to give you a basic idea of how these work and maybe you're interested in seeing how these are actually relaying the signal live and and you were just curious how they look like and it's just that's it really it's it's, it's very simple it's it's not complicated at all so the next step is going to be with D shot with cap and without cap uh, we're going to be looking at first at the racer star 35 amp uh, MS series and then I bought a bunch of DYS ESCs. We're going to be looking at those and we're going to be checking for noise and seeing if uh, smaller wires matter, longer wires, do they really affect anything? A longer battery lead, does that really do anything? Does that increase noise? And low ESR capacitors. I'm actually going to be buying every low ESR capacitor I could find and I'm just going to be reviewing every single one on my channel and then you guys can see for yourself and you guys just decide for yourself. So I'm just going to be showing you the raw data that I see and then you guys can go from there so that is the plans of my uh, future f f that is my plans for my future videos and that's really it guys so I really do hope you guys enjoyed it someone learned something and um, and yeah that's it really so take care guys please don't forget to like and subscribe and please share also and that's gonna conclude it for this video so take care see ya happy flying